What's going on guys? Ghost Warriors Delta X-Ray Studio. So in this video today, it's the light building solution that I've actually been procrastinating on doing. So in the last video, I had eight gigs of RAM and I tried to build a scene. Now this isn't the same scene. This is actually a different scene, but I feel there is more variation and there's more to this scene than what there was to the, the, the scene that I showed in the first video. So I feel like this scene is more extensive. So anyway, long story short, just to make it quick for the people who just want to know the solution, the solution to this is upgrade the RAM. I went from eight, eight to 16 and it helped a little bit within 24 to 48 hours. I doubled. So I think I was at four or 5% for 24 to 48 hours. The light building was still really slow. Uh, got to 16 gigs and I think I was setting around 24, 25. It's still taking a long time to build the lighting. But once uh, I got to 32 gigs of RAM, then it start. I mean, it still takes a little bit of time, but it's not taking 24 hours. I mean, it may take like 35 minutes to an hour to build all the light data for, you know, for this scene. And I also want to thank Amstead Digital for fi uh, financing the other 16 gigs of RAM and the M.2. So I don't know if the M.2 made a huge difference on, you know, the light building solution. But I do know that it, what it did was made loading Unreal up a lot faster. So if you guys are running an HDD like I was, you know, try to go to SDD or an M.2 if you can. They've they've all come down in price. I remember last time I looked, the M.2 was like one hundred and sixty dollars for one terabyte. Now I think you can find some from some of them for like eighty to one hundred and ten dollars. So they're coming down in price pretty quickly. It looks like. And then uh, my other bottleneck that I have is uh, my CPU and I'm only running four cores. So if I had if I had six to 16 cores, I would probably, the light building would be even faster. And one big advice, if you guys are using Unreal now, or if you're thinking about using Unreal, having more cores is not only gonna, not only gonna help you with the light building, but there's shader compilations. And uh, I may say this wrong, but I can't remember without it actually being up in front of me, but like, mesh data fields or something like that so when you open up a, a model that you haven't really used or really haven't you know looked at before and you open it up and in, in like your in your scene view here let me just do this so if i would if i'd come over here and go to environmental setting environment let's go to uh by full it no not really full. let me just see if i can find it here landscape nope i'm not totally for sure where the hell this is all at so it could it actually could be okay so it is still in is in a foliage so like if you would open up one of these things it would tell you that it's got a you know you'd see down here at the bottom right hand corner it would talk about you know building mesh you know mesh field or something like that and it's you know and that's another thing you know so shader compilation is the mesh data things having more cpu or more cores than more CPU. that'd be cool i have like two fucking cpus damn but uh having more cores is really going to help out with that so long story short light building solution more RAM. I recommend at least 32 gigs of RAM because the cool thing about it is not only when this is building, I can also go into Blender and do what I need to do in Blender, or I can open up Substance Painter and start, you know, you know, or start texturing a model that is going to go into the scene. So it, having the more RAM gives you the ability to, you know, actually work on multiple things rather than just going, well, light building, I might as well as go, you know, go take a shit, or I'm going to go eat and, you know, do this, do that, and I'm going to go, sm you know, smoke some pot, smoke a cigarette, you know. Having that extra RAM will make it to where you can just keep moving. And that's, that's, a, that's a big thing for me because I can't, you know, helping Amstead Digital with some of their stuff, I can't really afford to sit there and have a bunch of downtime, especially when, you know, if you're an indie developer, you know, kind of like me, you know, it's kind of, you know, you're working a full-time job and you may have 30 minutes here to work or an hour here or four hours. And you want to spend as little time on the light building and just getting the mesh data field and you know shader compilations. You want to spend a minimal time on that and just kind of get more into designing the game and putting things together. So I'm going to say it once again. I'm going to get on you guys' nerves by saying this because I'm actually going to end the videos. I'm going to try to keep it, try to keep it short for you. The light building solution. Upgrade the RAM. I had eight. I went from 8 to 16. 16 didn't do it, but at 32 gigs, gave me the ability to build the lighting and also work in Blender or Substance Painter, surf, surf the web, work, like watch YouTube. 
I, you know, I can do multiple things other than just let it do the light building and have to go do something else. Um, another thing will help with the light building is the CPU. I'm running four cores and it's actually kind of my bottleneck right now. My CPU, well, if I try to build this little bit with just the 19 objects, my CPU will go up to 79, 80, 85% usage. And you'll see it's kind of a little bit laggy. I would try to do it, but I don't want it to cut the audio out. So I'm hoping you guys just take my word on this. And I mean, regardless, I mean, you know, what's the worst, what's the worst going to happen? Even if I'm, even if I was wrong, which I'm not on this one, because I've done numerous tests on this, but even if I was wrong, having more Ram and having more cores, it, what, what's, what's the bad, what's the bad in that? There's nothing bad about that. It's all good. It's all good. We all, we like more cores. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, more Ram and more cores, and you're going to have an easier time with your light building. Until next time, guys.